possible for Benedict to fall in love with Kate, Anthony's wife? Which couple will the third season focus on? Let's find out, shall we? Spoiler alert, this video contains spoilers for Bridgerton and the third Bridgerton book. Meet Benedict. Played by the amazingly talented Luke Thompson, Benedict is the second-born Bridgerton brother. With his pure personality and honesty, he quickly became one of the fan-favorite characters in the series. As you already know, he's also trying to escape the rules he is supposed to follow, being one of the family patriarchs, something his older brother, Anthony, did pretty well. The first installment of the series focused on Daphne and the Duke of Hastings, Simon. The couple was given a fair conclusion, with a much-anticipated marriage and a baby boy. The second installment then focused on Kate and Anthony, with the couple being given a happily ever after as well. Hopefully, we'll see more of them in the third season, even though they won't be the central couple anymore. Benedict is quite different than Anthony, and his siblings in general. The most notable difference is the fact that his interest is art, not to mention his obvious talent. His interest in art doesn't mean that he would get the chance not to get married. As you already know, all of the siblings have one purpose only, to create a family, which only brings us to one question. Who will Benedict fall in love with? What kind of story should fans expect to see in the upcoming season? Let's find out. Another place. <laughs> the Royal Schools have accepted me as a student. Is Benedict gay? During the previous two seasons, we've only seen Benedict with ladies, including Genevieve Delacroix. He even said some things about what admiring a woman truly means, explaining that the point is to look at her and feel inspired, and, quote, delight in her beauty so much so that all your defenses crumble that you would willingly take on any pain, any burden for her. If we get into the source material, Benedict is by no means gay. He is solely interested in women, with him even marrying one. According to Julia Quinn's novels, Benedict marries Sophia Beckett, as described in the third book, An Offer from a Gentleman, with the couple welcoming four children, Charles, Alexander, William, and Violet. This, however, doesn't mean a thing, because so far, the creators have done many deviations from the source material. For instance, Daphne's first baby in the novel is a girl, which is not the case in the TV show, as he gives birth to a baby boy instead, which gives a proper conclusion to her story with the Duke. But let's continue with Benedict and see what Luke Thompson had to say about his character's future. He explores his freedom. When Town & Country asked the actor about his character's sexuality, Luke said that his character in the series is clearly very open, and that's why it's extremely fun to play him. Quote, and I think that it's not narrowly sexual. He's just a very open person, full stop, the actor said, adding that it all depends on the writers. If the show decides to follow the source material, at least some of the more significant storylines, we'll see a beautiful love story with this character. Before we get into details, make sure you smash that like button if you haven't done so already. As the members of our town question my identity and means... <laughs> A Cinderella Story Just like his different personality, Benedict will also get a quite different story than the rest of his siblings. This is, of course, only if the creators decide to stay loyal to the source material. After Anthony and Daphne ended up together with their love interests, their brother comes next as the one to go on the quest for love in Julia Quinn's third Bridgerton novel, An Offer from a Gentleman. Since this is Bridgerton we're talking about, things won't be easy for the character, nor for his love interest. This is when readers got introduced to a Cinderella story. Sophie Beckett is the illegitimate daughter of an Earl. The Earl is a kind of person who takes good care of her. This is until he marries a woman named Araminta. Unfortunately, the Earl dies, and Sophie is left with Araminta, the cruel stepmother who turns her life into a living hell. This is not the only similar plot element the story of the third book shares with a popular tale. One night, Sophie ends up at Lady Bridgerton's masquerade ball, and since she is different than all the women he's met before, Benedict falls in love with her. He then says that he'll never give up trying to find her, and once he does, he'll try his best to marry her, and eventually create a family. After several years, he manages to find the woman of his dreams, 
Only, he's not aware that she is the one. This only brings us to... Class differences. I personally loved the third novel the most because of how the story explored two different backgrounds. After coming to the ball, Sophie is kicked out of the house by her evil stepmother, and just two years after they first saw each other, Benedict saved Sophie, giving her a job with her working at the Bridgerton house. While working there, the couple develops feelings for each other, with Benedict not being able to realize that Sophie is the mysterious masked woman. The worst thing is that he's still looking for her. Some pretty disturbing storylines follow, with him using Sophie for his own needs, while she tries to get into a proper relationship with him. Things get really complicated after, with Sophie ending up in jail. However, she is again saved by the Bridgertons, and Benedict finally realizes that she is the woman he's been looking for so long for. They even get married in the end. There were some theories suggesting that Benedict would fall in love with Kate, Anthony's wife, in the third installment of the series. But so far, these are only theories, and his story details are yet to be confirmed. One thing that was confirmed is that we won't see his story in the next season of the show, because... Season 3 will follow Penelope and Colin. In May 2022, Netflix announced that the upcoming installment of the series will not follow the events of the story from the third book of Julia Quinn's Bridgerton series, An Offer from a Gentleman. Instead, the show will skip to the fourth book, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which sets Colin and Penelope as the central couple. Netflix is yet to confirm whether viewers will see the adaptation of An Offer from a Gentleman in the fourth installment. Quote, I really feel like it's Colin and Penelope's time. Because we've been watching both of these actors on our screen since season one, we've already invested in them a little bit. We know who they are as people, showrunner Jess Brownell told Variety, adding that the third installment hinted at their story with some storylines. The showrunner didn't exclude the possibility of Benedict, who is book three, being a vital part of season three. This somehow confirms that the next installment will prepare him for season four and his time to shine. All of the already familiar cast members we've met in the previous installments will return to reprise their roles, with Reggae Jean Page's future in the series still being uncertain. But we'll also see more of Francesca Bridgerton, with her finally being given a proper introduction. Actress Hannah Dodd will now play the role of Francesca, taking over after Ruby Stokes. Executive producer Shonda Rhimes said she really hopes that Netflix will greenlight all eight seasons she intends to do of the series, with each sibling being given their own story. When asked if there's a possibility of the show turning Benedict into a gay character, she said she wants to focus on Penn and Colin for now, adding that maybe at a later date that's something we can talk about. So far, the other creators have shut down the rumors about him being given a queer storyline, and once the creators reveal more details regarding his story, you'll be the first one to get informed. On a related note, do you think Colin and Penelope's story deserves to be the next one? What are your hopes for season four? Let us know down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.